Hi everyone! In this video I will be reading Humphrey the Lost Whale, a true story. Our story begins on a sunny day far out at sea. A pod of humpback whales was traveling south together for the winter. Humpback whales are magnificent creatures that sing beautiful songs to each other underwater. In the whole world, there are very few of them, so each one is quite special, and they are intelligent. Every winter they travel south, every summer they head north, and they always know the way. But even whales can make mistakes. One whale named Humphrey made a big one. He turned away from his friends and wandered around under the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco Bay. Everyone was surprised to see Humphrey in the bay. People don't get to see humpback whales very often because they usually stay in very deep waters. It was a special treat to see one so close to the city of San Francisco. Humphrey was a spectacular sight. As long as the city bus and as big as seven elephants put together, he would come up to breathe, appearing as if by magic, and people would stop whatever they were doing to watch him. Then Humphrey did something that no whale has ever done. Instead of swimming back out to sea, he went the wrong way up to Sacramento River. The big river became smaller and smaller as Humphrey traveled upstream. He was looking for the ocean, but it was clear Humphrey was lost. Hundreds of people came to see Humphrey in the river. They would stare out at the water, waiting for him to come up for air. Then, with the big whoosh, his giant back would appear, and someone would shout, There he is! He was an amazing sight. But something was wrong. Whales are supposed to live in the salt water of the ocean, not in the fresh water of rivers. A whale would die if he stayed in fresh water too long. Humphrey was in trouble. Everyone knew that Humphrey had to be turned back toward the ocean, but no one knew how to do that. After all, something like this had never happened before. The farther Humphrey went, the more worried everyone became. They wondered whether he was getting anything to eat, whether he was getting sick, or whether he would beach himself in the river. One day, Humphrey squeezed under a tiny bridge. It was so small, no one could understand how he had done it. Now he was really in trouble. He was trapped. The river beyond the bridge was very shallow and narrow. It was so small Humphrey could hardly turn around. There he was, a whale, stuck in a tiny stream right in the middle of a farm field. It was hard to believe. Something had to be done to get him out of there fast. Humphrey looked sick. The scientists knew he would die if he didn't get back to the ocean. Time was running out. The people trying to save Humphrey would have to move fast. The scientists, Coast Guard's officers, and many others got together to work out a plan to save him. They decided to bang long pipes toward underwater and scare him back down the river. At the same time, they would play a recording that would broadcast underwater, the sounds of water, the sounds of whales eating. Maybe Humphrey would be so hungry and lonely he would swim towards that sound. It worked. Humphrey turned around and started swimming back down the river. Everyone was relieved, but the danger wasn't over yet. When Humphrey arrived at the little bridge, he stopped. He was afraid to go under it. He couldn't find a space big enough to go through. People kept banging the pipes. Humphrey seemed flustered. What would he do? As the pipes kept clanging, Humphrey became angry. He rolled from side to side and thrashed his great tail. People stopped banging the pipes. But Humphrey's friends wouldn't give up. They knew they had to get him past the little bridge. If they didn't, he would die in the river. The people trying to save him decided to make the space under the bridge bigger. They brought in a huge crane and worked through the night to clear away some of the old plings. Would Humphrey notice the difference? The next day, the people began banging the pipes together again. Clang, clang, the boats moved closer to Humphrey to urge him on toward the bridge. This was his last chance. Everyone watched nervously. 
Humphrey bravely approached the bridge, but as he tried to swim under it, his head became lodged between the plings. He frantically bobbed his head up and down and thrashed his tail to free himself. It was a terrible moment. The people trying to save Humphrey thought it might be the end. Humphrey was stuck. Suddenly, Humphrey lifted one fin way out of the water, almost touching the bridge. As he twisted his body, he broke free from the plings and swam through to the other side. There was a shout from the banks of the river, then another and another, until everyone was cheering. Hooray for Humphrey, they shouted. He made it. Humphrey, the lost whale, was finally on his way home. A whole flotilla of boats and the clanging pipes behind him helped Humphrey find his way down the river. Finally, Humphrey arrived at San Francisco Bay. Humphrey spent one whole day happily swimming around the bay. He did tricks for the people gathered along the shore to see him one last time. They ooed when he slapped his tail. They awed when he leaped into the air and belly flopped back into the water. Humphrey seemed to be saying goodbye and thank you to all his friends who had helped save his life. The people who had helped rescue Humphrey also felt grateful. Humphrey had taught them a lot about humpback whales. He had also become a good friend. Many times during his ordeal, Humphrey could have simply flicked his tail and overturned boats carrying the people who were trying to help him, but he never did. He seemed to understand that they were his friends. Finally, in the late afternoon fog, Humphrey swam under the Golden Gate Bridge and back out to sea. Humphrey the whale had made it. He was finally home. Notes about Humphrey. Humphrey the humpback whale entered San Francisco Bay for the first time on October 10, 1985. For 26 days, this 45-foot-long, 40-ton giant captured the hearts of people everywhere as he tried to find his way back to the Pacific Ocean. After Humphrey was rescued in 1985, he continued to visit the Bay Area during his annual migrations. He was spotted near the Farallon Islands in 1986 and again inside Bodega Bay in 1988. Scientists were able to identify him by the distinctive markings on his dorsal fin and tail flukes. Then, early on the morning of October 22, 1990, people noticed a humpback whale beached on the mud in the shallow waters near Candlestick Park in San Francisco Bay. Later that day, scientists confirmed that it was our old friend Humphrey in trouble again. For three days, rescuers from the Marine Mammal Center and the U.S. Coast Guard tried to free Humphrey from the mud. Finally, on the second day, they pumped air under him at high tide and towed him into deeper waters. Humphrey swam around the San Francisco Bay for one more day until heading out to the Pacific Ocean under the Golden Gate Bridge, free once again. The end. Thank you for watching.